Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of Jeff's Wine Tasting. Today we have two wines from a small producer out of Sonoma called VVA. It's a husband and wife team, Stefan and Dana. They make Rosé, Chardonnay, and Pinot Noir. Uh, today we're tasting their Rosé of Pinot from the Petaluma Gap area. This wine, it's a 2019, just under 13% alcohol, and retails for $25. Nice, light, fresh, fruity nose. Really nice um, fruit, citrusy, some plum, um, nice, uh, really nice way that it enters the mouth. Uh, sometimes rosés can start off a little bit flat on the taste. This doesn't at all. Has a nice, um, has a nice full body in the in the middle of the mouth, mid palate, and that continues through through the back and the finish. Short finish, but 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 very but very nice. Um, it has it has a really good balance between being light, which I which I very much want in a rosé, yet also having uh, some structure and just a faint amount of weight, which typically is the is the sweetness factor. Um, not that I would call this sweet at all. Uh, really, really nice, uh, nice rosé, and, and and what I'm looking for when uh, when I open up a drink of rosé. Second wine is a Sonoma Coast Chardonnay, also from the Petaluma area. This is a 2018. It is 13.8 percent alcohol and retails for $38. I'm not a huge Chardonnay fan. I, I enjoy Chardonnay, but typically with food. I, my own palate, I don't, I don't normally drink Chardonnay on its own. Just want to say that before, before I go further. Really nice, clean, fresh fruit on the nose with, with definite hints of uh, buttery oak. So I would, I would definitely consider this to be uh, certainly has has uh, Chardonnay characteristics to it. Hmm. Wow. This is really good. Um, has a really nice, uh, smooth, almost silkiness to the to the palate um, in the in the middle of the mouth. Really um, definite, definite Chardonnay characteristics, but at the same time has a lightness to it that I that I actually enjoy. Um, so so typically with Chardonnay, I find a lot of them to to be heavy in the the style and and in how they sit in my mouth. Uh, I don't find this at all. This has some really nice characteristics to it. A nice medium long finish, which is very, very pleasing. Kind of lingers, kind of lingers in the mouth a little bit. Uh, yeah, so so VVA uh, really enjoy both these wines. Actually, first time I'm I'm having them, uh, like them both. So small producer out of Sonoma. Check the details in the post if you're interested. I would highly recommend picking a couple of these up. They're a great price point. Uh, and and from my research and and uh, what little bit I do know, uh, quality very very high quality producer, great husband and wife team, uh, so so definitely check them out.